Three more sleeps until Super Bowl 57. Kansas City Chiefs, Philadelphia Eagles. It would not be Super Bowl week around these parts without a pigskin prognostication from the one and only Pete Diakowski, who always has a list of 15 things that he wants to break down. We told him, you get three. I'm so trying to get to the four. <laughs> First off, great to have you back in the studio. Oh. Put her in the face, oh, buddy! Yeah. <laughs> Great to be back. <laughs> this is my first time in the new studio. Good this to see place you. is good, amazing. Good to see you, man. But we're you? like uh, halfway to Guelph. I just, I just kept driving. <laughs> Are we technically in Puss Lynch? We're, no, we're technically, in, we're technically in Dundas. Okay. Technically in Dundas at the Cla top. The, the famous Clappison's Corners. Yes, right. Um, good to see you, man. Great okay. to see what you. What do you think of this matchup? Are you, are you excited I about it? I love it. I'm so excited. We've got, you know, some familiar names because we, these, we see these teams in the Super Bowl. They're good teams. Yeah. We've got the Eagles. What, I think Super Bowl 52. We've yeah. got now the Kansas City Chiefs, Super Bowl 54, clashing in Super Bowl 57. This is how the world learns their Roman numerals. <laughs> yeah, because you're always like, okay, the V, that's 50, or the L is 52, add the two, it's 57. Okay, it's uh, Super Bowl 57. It's also be called the Kelsey Bowl because yes, of the two is. brothers that we've been talking about, Jason Kelsey, Travis Kelsey, first time ever brothers are going head-to-head -head in the Super Bowl. The first time, and for all the people who are out there saying, I'm tired of this storyline, well, hey, Get ready to be even more tired because that's what we're talking about. This is the most compelling story. We've got Jason Kelsey, center for the Philadelphia Eagles, a very smart player. You're going to hear the announcers on the game say the word cerebral because it sounds smarter to say cerebral than smart. You know, put that on your board, okay? Someone's going to say it, but he's a very smart player, very athletic veteran guy. He's been playing now. 12 years, quite a few years. Right. You know, many time Pro Bowl or leading a offensive line that's a unit and look at him blocking so he plays, down so he plays center snaps. so so the so snap so the quarter, quarterback's hands are always like they're always right in there <laughs> they have to get a mesh so like it's actually very snug the quarterback's the upwards pressure from his head actually lifts the center did you ever slightly play, did you ever play center so i uh they tried me my in college freshman year at lsu they tried to have me like the third string center my first game warming up i had the third string quarterback behind me i was at virginia tech shot Shotgun snaps, they were just going everywhere. I'd never snap before in my life. And the kids in the student section at Virginia Tech were so mean to me. They I was 18 years old. They were you still, merciless. You, you, you still have the scars. Okay. Now, Travis Kelsey also plays on offense, so they won't play against each other, but he plays a different position. He plays tight end, and he's like a better Gronk than Gronk. This is the probably the best tight end of all time. You're going to see the plays that he makes. He's going to get downfield. He's going to get himself open. He's he has speed like a wide receiver. He's so athletic. That's He's a better Gronk than Gronk. He's more athletic. Big hands. He's a fun guy to watch, and he's tough and he's got a great quarter a great well, quarterback Patrick Mahomes okay so let, let's get to Andy Reid is the coach used to coach the Eagles we only got like a minute left used to coach the Eagles now coaches the Chief how big a legend is he he drafted both Kelsey brothers so he's got to know what he's doing he's I think the only head coach with 100 wins with two different teams he led the Eagles for 12 years and then he got fired and then he gets picked up by Kansas City and now he's just doing the same thing over again guys love playing for him he's a players coach he's also a big guy so I like the big guy coach <laughs> very compelling story here can he get it done against his old team we've got a tale of two cities too: Philadelphia versus Kansas City I love this matchup okay it's, it's time it's time the pigskin prognostication from the one and only Pete Diakowski. Drum it's, roll, please. It's so close, but I gotta know, go with you know who I know and, and Philadelphia is a tougher city. It's a fighting city. You know, we've seen it as a cradle of American civilization. It's an historic city. This is a city where Benjamin Franklin struck the Liberty Bell, cracking it, setting off the American Revolution. I gotta go with the Philadelphia, Philadelphia Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles are gonna win the oh, Super Bowl! The and according to Pink Skin, there you go. Look at you! Oh, oh, Look at you! That. There you go. Okay, Kansas City Chiefs, Philadelphia Eagles should be uh, should be a lot of fun. Are you, are you like Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, here you, go. <laughs> you do really get right up there. <laughs> oh, but the score, 27-24. 27-24.